a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mike Pompeo Michael Richard Pompeo is an American politician and businessman serving as director of the Central Intelligence Agency since January 23, 2017, following his nomination by President Donald Trump. Previously, he was the member of the United States House of Representatives for He is a member of the Tea Party movement within the Republican Party. He was a Kansas representative on the Republican National Committee and member of the Italian-American Congressional Delegation. On March 13, 2018, Trump announced his intention to nominate Pompeo as the new United States Secretary of State, succeeding Rex Tillerson after March 31, 2018. Education and Early Career Pompeo was born in Orange, California, the son of Dorothy and Wayne Pompeo. His father was of Italian ancestry. His paternal grandmother was born in Caramanico, Teme. In 1982, Pompeo graduated from Los Amigos High School in Fountain Valley, California, where he played power forward on the basketball team. In 1986, Pompeo graduated first in his class from the United States Military Academy at West Point where he majored in mechanical engineering. From 1986 to 1991, Pompeo served in the U.S. Army as an Armour Branch Cavalry Officer, reaching the rank of Captain. He served as a United States Cavalry Officer patrolling the Iron Curtain before the fall of the Berlin Wall. He also served with the 2nd Squadron, 7th Cavalry and the 4th Infantry Division in the Gulf War. In 1994 Pompeo received a Juris Doctor from Harvard Law School, where he was on the 81-member Board of Editors of the Harvard Law Review. After graduating, he worked as a lawyer for Williams and Connolly. Business Career In 1998 Pompeo moved to Wichita when he and three other West Point graduate friends, Brian Bulatow, Ulrich Breitbuhl, and Michael Stradinger, acquired three aircraft part makers companies in Wichita and one in St. Louis and re renamed it Thayer Aerospace. Venture Funding for the private organization came a 2% investment from Koch Industries as well Dallas-based Cardinal Investment and Bain Capital. Breit Boo and Stradinger left the company shortly after it was founded, but Pompeo and Bulatow continued until 2006. In 2017, when Pompeo became head of the CIA, he named Bulatow as Chief Operating Officer. In 2006 he sold his interest in Thayer to Highland Capital Management. The announcement said clients of the firm included Lockheed Martin, Gulfstream Aerospace, Cessna Aircraft, Boeing, Spirit Aero Systems, Raytheon Aircraft and others. It was renamed Next Tech Aerospace. Pompeo became president of Century International, an oil field equipment company, which was also a partner with Koch Industries. Elections in the 2010 Kansas Republican primary for the 4th District Congressional seat, Pompeo defeated State Senator Gene Skidorf, Wichita businessman Wink Hartman, and small business owner Jim Anderson. State Senator Dick Kelsey also ran for the nomination, but ended his campaign before the August primary and endorsed Pompeo. Late in the primary, Skidorf began to surge in the polls, prompting two outside groups, Americans for Prosperity and Common Sense Issues an Ohio-based political group, to spend tens of thousands of dollars in the final campaign days to attack Skidorf and support Pompeo. In the general election, Pompeo defeated Democratic nominee Raj Goyle, a member of the Kansas House of Representatives. Pompeo received 59% of the vote, to 36% for Goyle. During the campaign, Pompeo sparked controversy when his campaign's Twitter account shared then later deleted, a blog post calling his Indian-American opponent a turban topper, and then President Barack Obama an evil Muslim communist. During the campaign, Pompeo received $80,000 in donations from Koch Industries and its employees. In his 2012 re-election bid, Pompeo defeated Democratic nominee Robert Tillman by a margin of 62% 32%. In his election Pompeo's campaign was supported by Koch Industries with $110,000. Pompeo won the general election, defeating Democrat Perry Shuckman with 66.7% of the vote. Pompeo beat Democrat Daniel B. Giroux in the general election with 60.6% of the vote. Committee Assignments 
Pompeo served on the United States House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence and United States House Committee on Energy and Commerce, and the following three subcommittees, the United States House Energy Subcommittee on Digital Commerce and Consumer Protection, the United States House Energy Subcommittee on Energy, and the United States House Intelligence Subcommittee on the CIA. He was also on the United States House Select Committee on Benghazi. CIA Director On November 18, 2016, President-elect Donald Trump announced that he would nominate Pompeo to be the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. He was confirmed by the United States Senate on January 23, 2017, with a vote of 66-32, and sworn in later that day. In February 2017, Pompeo traveled to Turkey and Saudi Arabia. He met with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to discuss policy on Syria and Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Pompeo honored the then Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed bin Naif with the CIA's George Tenet Medal. It was the first reaffirmation of Saudi Arabia-United States relations since Donald Trump took office in January 2017. In March 2017, Pompeo formally invoked executive privilege to prevent CIA agents, including Gina Haspel and James Kozana, from being compelled to testify in the trial of Bruce Jesson and James Ulmer Mitchell. In June 2017, Pompeo named Michael Dandria head of the CIA's Iran Mission Center. In August 2017, Pompeo took direct command of the Counterintelligence Mission Center, the department which helped to launch an investigation into possible links between Trump associates and Russian officials. Former CIA directors expressed concern, since Pompeo is known to be an ally of Donald Trump. In September 2017, Pompeo sought authority for the CIA to make covert drone strikes without the Pentagon's involvement including inside Afghanistan. Pompeo usually personally delivered the president's daily brief in the Oval Office. At the request of the president, Pompeo met with William E. Binney to discuss his doubts of Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections. At the suggestion of Tony Perkins, Pompeo planned to hire chaplains at the CIA to reduce officers' high divorce rates. Surveillance Pompeo supports the surveillance programs of the National Security Agency, referring to the agency's efforts as good and important work. Pompeo stated, Congress should pass a law re-establishing collection of all metadata, and combining it with publicly available financial and lifestyle information into a comprehensive, searchable database. Legal and bureaucratic impediments to surveillance should be removed. That includes Presidential Policy Directive 28, which bestows privacy rights on foreigners and imposes burdensome requirements to justify data collection. Terrorism In a 2013 speech on the House floor, Pompeo said Muslim leaders who failed to denounce acts of terrorism done in the name of Islam are potentially complicit in the attacks. The Council on American-Islamic Relations called on him to revise his remarks, calling them false and irresponsible. Prisons Pompeo opposes closing Guantanamo Bay detention camp. After a 2013 visit to the prison, he said, of the prisoners who were on hunger strike, it looked to me like a lot of them had put on weight. He criticized the Obama administration's decision to end secret prisons and its requirement that all interrogators adhere to anti-torture laws. North Korea Pompeo desires regime change in North Korea. In July 2017, he said, it would be a great thing to denuclearize the peninsula, to get those weapons off of that, but the thing that is most dangerous about it is the character who holds the control over them today. Iran Pompeo worked to undermine the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action nuclear deal with Iran that was supported by the Obama administration. Referring to the agreement, he stated, I look forward to rolling back this disastrous deal with the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism. He also stated that a better option than negotiating with Iran would be to use under 2000 sorties to destroy the Iranian nuclear capacity. This is not an insurmountable task for the coalition forces. On July 21, 2015, Pompeo and Senator Tom Cotton alleged the existence of secret side agreements between Iran and the International Atomic Energy Agency on procedures for inspection and verification of 
Iran's nuclear activities under the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action nuclear deal. Obama administration officials acknowledged the existence of agreements between Iran and the IAEA governing the inspection of sensitive military sites, but denied the characterization that they were secret side deals calling them standard practice in crafting arms control pacts and arguing the administration had provided information about them to Congress. Israel In November 2015, Pompeo visited Israel and stated that, Prime Minister Netanyahu is a true partner of the American people, and that, Netanyahu's efforts to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons are incredibly admirable and deeply appreciated. He also stated that, in the fight against terrorism, cooperation between Israel and the United States has never been more important, and that, WE must stand, with our ally Israel and put a stop to terrorism. Ongoing attacks by the Palestinians serve only to distance the prospect of peace. He opposed Trump's 2017 decision to move America's embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. Russia During his confirmation hearing, Pompeo stated that Russia has reasserted itself aggressively, invading and occupying Ukraine, threatening Europe, and doing nearly nothing to aid in the destruction and defeat of ISIS. WikiLeaks In a 2017 speech addressing the Center for Strategic and International Studies, Pompeo referred to WikiLeaks as a non-state hostile intelligence service, and described founder Julian Assange as a narcissist fraud, and coward. We can no longer allow Assange and his colleagues the latitude to use free speech values against us, to give them the space to crush us. With misappropriated secrets is a perversion of what our great constitution stands for. It ends now. Assange and his ilk make common cause with dictators today. Yes, they try unsuccessfully to cloak themselves and their actions in the language of liberty and privacy. In reality, however, they champion nothing but their own celebrity. Their currency is clickbait. Their moral compass, non-existent. Their mission, personal self-aggrandizement through the destruction of Western values. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?